Hey, everyone, it's Joe and uh, Tom from Tab Nation. Uh, Tom Hello. also, I'm sure you guys know, has a YouTube channel, and, which I'll put the link up here on the screen so you can uh, subscribe to him and check out his videos. But he's got a, a really cool Chrome auto hotkey extension that he was going to demo here for us. Yeah, so originally this project started because I was bored, and um, I wanted to brush up on some of my skills. That, you know, I heard uh, that's how the wheel was invented, by the way. Yeah, yeah they were bored. Not because they had a need. They were just bored. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, wanted to brush up on my JavaScript, uh, my HTML. I haven't really used that since like high school. Uh, I never really pra practiced with CSS, but I always have to have a goal. And I realized there's no Chrome extension for auto hotkeys just at all. There was one, but it's like super out of date, doesn't even work anymore, has zero functionality. So I made that my goal, and I'm considering it in alpha right now. Um, I'm looking for names if you guys want to throw some ideas down in the comments below. Right now, it's just called uh, Tab Nation or TN Auto Hockey Extension. So yeah, uh, you can see my screen, correct? Yeah, we're good. Sweet. So as of right now, it is not in the Chrome store. Uh, once I'm a little bit more happy with it, it will be released to the Chrome extension store. It will be obviously free, available for anybody. I am looking for alpha testers, beta testers, that kind of thing. If you're interested, uh, Joe, if you can put my email address or a link to my about tab in the description below, just shoot me an email saying, hey, I want to try it out. I'll send you a file. I have instructions uh, already ready. It's super easy to upload your own extension versus going through the store. I already have it obviously installed on my computer. It's uh, right here, little green icon, the HK thing. Might change that later. That's just what I put there for now. So obviously a lot of this stuff could change just so everybody knows if you're watching at a later time, you know, from the far future of 10 years from now, Nato Hockey's version three is out. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you just click on it, you get this little drop down. The great thing about this is like, yes, you can Google, you know, stuff you're looking for. But the idea here is for it to be faster. I mean, that's why we're using auto hotkeys is to be faster at stuff. So this is accessible. So as you see, I'm on LinkedIn. So I don't even have a Google tab open. I want to search for the sin command, something simple. Choose V1, V2. Let's just oh, nice. keep it simple. V1 for search. And, uh, okay, I don't know why I did that, but I'm doing some security. This is why it's in alpha or beta, right? But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that was Chrome doing that. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, it took me straight to, as you see, awesome. V1 and the send command. So, boom, already there. Open a new tab. Let's close that. And then you can do the same thing. Send. Maybe I want to search V2 instead. And same exact same page, but now you see we're on V2. Cool. So it's just a faster way without having to open a new tab. It's going to do it for you. It's a quick search, at least with that functionality. Uh, Joe's going to ask this you a part. question there. Yeah, what yeah. if like type SEM instead of SEMD? Is it is it going to get you close? So that is something I'm hoping to add is the, um, yeah, you're going to get a 404. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's an exact match. All right. Yeah. Thank for you. now. Um, yeah. I am going to try to incorporate uh, some sort of spell check, at least a very simplified one. Um, yeah, yeah. Like on those, we know the terms they would be searching, right? Because they're the, yeah. the actual command names or whatever. So you could have a predefined list to help assist to check Correct. it again. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So yeah, something, um, obviously, uh, um, I'm open for ideas. So also, even if you're testing or not, I'm happy to see uh, emails on ideas, changes that you think, eh, this could work better if you did it this way. You know, let me know. Um, so Joe will like this one because there's uh, ah. Automator. Oh, awesome. I just put Automator because I'm not trying to put too much text and take up too much space. But uh, uh, same thing here. You can type in, you know, let's say I want to search Joe's channel for... I don't know if he has any, but send. Um, I can push, so I select Joe, which I guess I should change that to just say automator, so it, or at least change them to be the same. Search. It's basically doing the same thing, but it's doing it on YouTube. So as we see, here's Joe. Um, here's a video. Yeah, here, you know, he got send, post, 
I don't think that, no, that is Joe. Yeah. Uh, here's but another one about send message. Right. So it's just a faster way to search. I don't have to open a YouTube tab. I don't have to type in the word auto hockey Joe send. It's going to do it for me. Maybe I don't know what I want on Tab Nation's website or YouTube page. Maybe I just want to see what's going on in this page. You can just click these oh. and that's going to take you to my main page. Let's pause that because it always plays. And boom, I'm there. Uh, I do plan to add some more here, at least two more of some of the top ones. Um, I'm going to get around to that. Now, if there, I plan to add all of them, but that's what this drop down here is for, is kind of more of the... Uh, yeah, and there's a lot. Lesser, lesser, yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to make this extension too big and take up like an entire page. Uh, but yeah, so that's the YouTube search. Uh, there's going to be some more big names coming here and down here in the drop down, which that actually I'll be doing today is my goal. Uh, sites, same thing, just a faster way to get stuff. So you got my website, tabnationcoding.com, uh, the auto hockey forms, uh, Joe's website, the automator, uh, Reddit's main sub, the Facebook's main page. Uh, there are multiple Facebook ones. I will be adding those. Uh, but right now, this just goes to the most popular one. And then Discord will automatically take you to the Discord server. If you're not already joined, it will give you a pop-up saying, do you want to join the server? Cool. Obviously, cool. Uh, I'm probably missing some here. So there's The only space. one that jumps out, I think you nailed the big ones. The only one I would also include there is the Stack Overflows you know, thread on AutoHotKey. Uh, is wait. one I use a lot. Boom, right there. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think I did that one. I use that one probably almost more than the forum. I mean, like, I use it a lot. Okay, so maybe, yeah, moving it up here. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's one I, like, I rarely, even though I like looking at Facebook, I don't go there for answers. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, but anyway, it depends on your goals, right, and what you're doing. So yeah, we'll and that's why I'm saying I'm open to, you know, different people's ideas, because obviously this is designed with how I would use it. I could be the only one who would use it this way. <laughs> uh, so then you got, this is kind of just more of this off stuff. Um, so you got some sections here. I'm going to be adding another, a third section down here uh, today called YouTube, which will be, you know, more of those, maybe not as popular ones, but still have a decent amount of AHK stuff that are great sites. So then there's a decent amount. You know, I, at least I think I already have like five that I've saved. Um, I'm going to use Joe's website to get a bunch of them because <laughs> I know he sure. has a list of all that. <laughs> yeah, the um, ultimate resource page. I, I yep. have 8 billion of them. And yeah, it's, 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 it's bookmarked good. on my uh, Chrome somewhere. <laughs> yep. So you got more sites. You got the HK documentation, which takes you to the same place as the search up here, but this just takes you to like the front page. Stack Overflow, like Jack was saying. Uh, Jack's Auto Hockey blog, three column. In case people don't know what that is, it's not really auto hotkeys, but it's something I use a lot. So I'll show you the ad. Um, so you choose your language. So auto hotkeys, uh, common used, and then, you know, your category. So like I have the two types of toggles here that I use a lot. I got some of the popular regexes I use. So it's just a fast way to get to snippets of code that you might use a lot, uh, which I'm going to expand on here in just a second. What else do we got here? Uh, Cloud AHK, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like the kids version. I like to call it for AHK, <laughs> it's block coding. Oh, it's very cool. Yeah, Geek Dude is a it's great- cool. I, I like playing with it just for fun. I think um, it's great to help teach people stuff because yeah. you, you see the blocks, but then you see the code on how it does it. And that's really powerful. And, and it's like a puzzle, you know, some stuff won't fit in places that you can't put it. Um, oh, so right. it's like a puzzle, yeah, yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, you actually talked about this today, um, mentioned it in the uh, live stream, the V1 to V2 converter. Uh, that I'm actually going to move down into tools versus sites. So I sure. don't know why yeah. that's there, yep. um, but that will be moved. So there's another change to make. Uh, and then tools, you got Microwind, Quick Access Pop-Up, and uh, this random program that I'm sure you've heard of, Joe, called Automate My Task. Uh, and then about just, it's just a message box. It just kind of shows like, 
cool. what version it is, what changes were made in the last version. And this is more for me, honestly, in the works. <laughs> Uh, just stuff I plan to do, uh, better looking GUI, more examples, Ooh. which you'll see here in a minute, light mode. <laughs> you know what? I just realized, and, and you're going to laugh when I say it, because we were just talking so much about it. ChatGPT should be in this li at some point. Maybe not yet, because we both know it's, you know, it doesn't know auto hockey great, but yeah, it's getting there. It'd be something. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to look into that. I was going to look into that regardless of this or I that. Know, right? Like right. we were just talking before this. Yeah. But, and that's what in that video I sent you earlier, that which you said you were already planning to watch. They talk about plugins, and this would be one of those things, right? You can have it built into your little tool here and interacting with ChatGPT, um, which is really just cool. phenomenal. Yeah. Try to make it, uh, give it the personality of a, a coder, because you can give them personalities if you guys don't know. Um, so the other thing, too, is if you click the little house home button here, I think you can actually click all this, the text, but if you click the home button, this is going to take you kind of to like a landing page. This is a complete mess right now uh, because I haven't even done like very much of the CSS for this. So because I'm still deciding 100% how this is going to look. Obviously, this picture will go away. <laughs> I don't know if you can read that. Is it me you're looking for? And it even yeah. says not much to see here yet. But as far as what's on here right now, is I got some of the most common used uh, like snippets, kind of like that three column thing I was showing you. So, um, you know, let's say I want to run a script as admin. So run as admin, display, there's the code. So you can copy and paste it, or you can just push copy to clipboard. It's now in my clipboard. Now so there's a bunch of different options. I'm definitely looking for more. If you guys have some that you want to submit that I can put in here. Obviously, these are not all toggles. Like I said, this is <laughs> yeah. progress. Yeah. <laughs> you know, definitely work. And, you know, here's all the like common use settings that a lot of people put at the beginning of their script. You know, boom, copy to clipboard, put into the ID you're using. Now, and, on this though, it, this these all look like V1. Are you going to have a separate one for V2 or how are you going to? Yeah, yeah. I am going to be adding uh, some way to switch. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not sure, but I think what I'm going to do, because right now this doesn't save what you do. So, for example, if I say V2, close out, open it again, it's back to V1. Yeah, right. That is actually something that's about halfway done right now, where it is going to save whatever your last pick was using uh, cookies. And uh, based on what you select here will affect everything. So right now this page, V1, V2 only affects this page or this drop down, but it will affect this too. Cool. Yeah. I love that there's a V1 and V2, but it doubles the amount of work I have to do. <laughs> I know. I know. Cause yeah, I, gotta that's, make... I was going to say, cause you know, we're, we're getting ready to launch our uh, prompt assistant tool, which is really a snippet tool. And I'm going to be doing stuff, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to go back and make one for V1. Like, I think I'll just have all my snippets for V2 because that's all I plan to program with going forward. So yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, no, I plan to do both uh, based on what you select in the, the, the main drop down will affect everything uh, in the long run. Right now, it's only affecting about 50% of the uh, program. Right here, it is all V1. Like you said, that's a good thing to point out for now. Now, uh, remind me of this because I know this you're doing in Chrome, but with other um, Chromium tools, can you use the same? Would you be able to use it? Yes. Um, well, I'm not going to say yes 100%. I haven't tested it in everything. I don't have a bunch of the browsers. Oh, I can't even remember what the other browser Edge. was I tested it in. Maybe it wasn't Edge. Firefox or uh, Edge. Edge. I would think it would be Edge would be the, the, you know. I can't even remember. It, it's basically a Chrome clone. Oh, like, you know what? Yeah, there's a couple other ones that... um. I can't even remember yeah, um, what it was called. It's somewhere on yeah. my computer. There's one that's more secure that's still Chrome, yeah. but it's... Yeah, I can't think of the name of it right now either. And as far as I can tell, it did work on there. If I remember, I'll, I'll post a comment in the, uh, once this video is up there, I'll put a comment down there. Here's the thing, Tom. If you're using one of those other browsers, you already know that if, it, you know, because you've already dealt with this, because most people aren't building extensions for those other browsers. Exactly. Right? So they probably already know what will and won't work for their browsers. But anyway, yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, hey, let me know. If you guys get it working, put it in the comments below. Let us know. It saves me time and I don't have to download, you know, 10 different browsers <laughs> to test a simple thing. Right. Exactly. Um, That's the whole point. Last of getting... two things I have is pop-out mode. So pop-out mode is literally 
the drop down that you saw. Now you do unfortunately have to resize it yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that because of Chrome security. It mm. does not allow extensions to resize windows automatically, which makes sense. You know, you go to a shady website, it opens the thing, makes it really small, and then shoots it over off the screen where you can't close it. So you do have to resize it yourself, but it's a simplified window. As you see, there's no uh, URL bar, no tabs, nothing. It's just very simple. This is the way maybe if you just want to slide it over to the side, why you have like, you know, you have your ID open. Yeah. You know, uh, type, 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 do some code. Oh, let me search this. Boom. Oh. So it, it almost works when it when it's in pop-out mode. I kind of look at it as more of an extension outside of Chrome. Because now this is almost like having an extension for Notepad++ in a way. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so that's something I really like. Yeah, you, you might even like. set it to be always on top, right? Set that window to always be up there. and Yeah, or have like a checkbox where you can choose. That's a good idea. I'm gonna. I should probably be writing this stuff down, but I can watch the video later, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that's how I, I get all my views. I just rewatch my own videos. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I love when I awesome. have a question. That I'm like, I know I've done this before, and I Google right. it, and it's like, oh look, it's my video. My own video. Yeah. Let me let me watch that to remind me what I did. Yeah. Uh, the last one, and this one, I, I'm kind of definitely looking for opinions on if this is worth it or not. But this is basically going to be an IDE that's built into Chrome specifically for auto hotkeys. Uh, right now I have, uh, you know, like command buttons right here. Uh -huh. I realized very quickly that's a bad idea because how many commands are there? <laughs> right, right. We would have hundreds. So I'd probably do like categories for drop downs, you know, like a GUI drop down. Yeah. You know, whatever button drop downs or send commands. It you know what you might consider? Now, I mean, this is a very different approach. However, from talking to Isaiah, VS Code can be easily used for within a browser, right? Like you can have all the functionality. Maybe you have a view, this view using VS Code, right? That VS Code tied to AutoHotkey with certain extensions installed. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. That's because why I didn't jump too far into this because I wasn't yeah. sure. Because um, a big, big thing that I realized very quickly is I know the big thing people are going to ask for. So if I push toggle, send, 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 you know, it basically is writing code for you and then you just fill in the blanks. And then you can push like clear copy to your clipboard. So, you know, clear start over. The problem I very quickly realized is syntax highlighting. Oh, yeah, right. You cannot do that because yeah. when I tried... Chrome flags it as a security risk for some odd reason. So maybe maybe you could have an extension that would do it. I mean, technically, this is part of the extension. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, but actually, an extension that does the highlighting. Um, anyway, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I just I've tried so hard to get it to work, and cr I, I mean, I know how to do it from within the extension kind of like what you're saying try another uh through outside or something which i will look into but it definitely flags it as like a security issue for some odd reason like the the resizing of the window thing that i get why it's a security risk syntax highlighting ah, that's weird to me but it is what it is <laughs> uh, but i do like the vs code especially idea um, so I'm going to look into that. And that's why I haven't jumped too far into this. I've yeah. made a very, I mean, it's not even sized correctly. Uh, I, I, still, I, you, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that that shows how little I've played with this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much as far oh. as I've gotten so far. Um, oh. No, it's pretty neat. So yeah, I'm looking for anybody who wants to test. Even if you don't want to test based off what you saw in this video, if you have ideas, you know, like Joe hasn't, you know, he doesn't have it right now. He hasn't tested it, but he had a lot of great ideas. So I'm fine with that too, you know, because I would be uh, nope. sending you a zip file and it's yeah. just the HTML code and all that. And it's very simple. I might as well show that real quick. Uh, let's move these handsome people here. So you're going to go to, what is it? Uh, more tools, extensions. So there it is right now. But you just say upload or load unpacked. 
and you just find the folder that I sent you. So let's pretend it says tab nation. I would click that and I would say select folder and then boom, it's installed. That's right. how simple it is. Right. Very cool. And if there is any issues that you see, uh, there will be another uh, little button right here that will see like, you know, five errors. Hopefully not. But <laughs> you can also push no. deep. Well, no, I guess not details. I guess I can't see it unless it actually pops up. Give me an air. <laughs> but there will be another button that pops up here, and you can push that, and it'll display exactly what the air is, what line of code it is, or at least the function name. And that's so probably that what you'd help. want to have emailed to you, right? To So you know what... Yeah, it'll save me time, you know, because uh, just to show the code, which... What on earth? The code's gone. Ugh. No Pat plus plus call closed all my tabs that have to do with this. But it would help me a lot because as you see, just for such a simple extension, you do have quite a bit going on here just for organization reasons. So a lot of this is, you know, you got a lot of HT, you got three HTML documents. If there's an HTML error, I don't want to have to go through all three. I want to know which one it is. I got, you know, multiple JavaScript files in here, CSS files. There's a few right here. Uh, you know, so it helps me at least know what the function name is or something so I can say, oh, I know where that is. Wait, you mean people just shouldn't tell you, hey, it doesn't work? Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a popular thing in my comments. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this doesn't work. You're like, that's, that's great. I, I don't well, the, even... the best is when the answer's in the video. And I'm like, did you just copy and paste the code and assumed it was going to do what you want it? <laughs> Because right. in the video, I say, hey, see this line of code? You need to specifically change that yep. <laughs> to meet your computer's file path, not mine. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, as you can see, just this one JavaScript file right here is 150 lines long. I don't even know what I just opened. Oh, these are for going to all the, yeah, the websites. Yeah. Cool, man. So it definitely helps me if, uh, as you can see, just one one file out of, I don't know, what was in there, 12 or something, right. is going to help me out a lot. <laughs> details <laughs> awesome yeah. so if you're interested in it, i'll put his email right here it'll be in the description too if you want to be able to just copy it from there but um and go check out his channel i'll put that up on the screen as well and uh thanks tom this is uh thanks for including me by the way in the the options there that was awesome yeah uh, i really appreciate it and that's uh pretty cool i mean it's i know it's beginning parts but it's, it's got some cool potential yep and like i said eventually once i'm happy um i'll probably do an announcement video saying hey yeah. I like where it's at. I think it's it's ready for, you know, full on public access. Yeah. And then I'll, you know, in that video, I'll link, obviously, and I'll probably put it on my website, on my about pa page, my descriptions, a link to the actual Chrome store where it's going to be uh, downloadable. Cool. Yeah, if you want, uh, if you're available tomorrow, we have another hero call. Um, it'll be from one to two your time. It's 12 to one for us here in Central. But um, if you want to demo it to the hero people, because a lot of them like testing new stuff oh, yeah. so um that might be a fun group of people that, that what's nice is it's a you know the, um it's not a thousand people right it's a smaller group they you get a few people testing it and they're avid testers and they're diverse uh, too you know advanced yeah, exactly. beginner. Right. yeah i always say you know the best thing about testers is when they break it yeah right it's right. it, for some people that sounds weird but it's like that that's the whole point that's of what testing, we need is to break it yeah right <laughs> Right. And and like today, I think we mentioned it, I think it was in the live call, where um, there was a problem on one of the pages. We're like, this is one of the points. When you find a, something's broken on our websites, whatever, tell us about it. Like, yep. we, we need to know. Like, but because people don't often, you think someone else will tell us, but they don't. <laughs> yeah. Bad, bad links, like you were saying, is definitely the number one. And <laughs> let us know. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. Good talking to you. Thank you.